Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to BSOD Gaming. As some of you may or may not have seen, I released a video showing that Nvidia have indeed fixed the shader cache commit size in their latest driver which was released as an insider build to Windows 10 creators update users. In this video, I am going to take a look at exactly how much RAM storage we are saving when using this new driver build, and also I will be assessing whether this fix into the graphics drivers will allow users with 8GB of RAM to run the game stutter free without having to make enlarged page file or virtual memory storage. Ok, let's quickly switch over to my desktop and look at exactly how much memory the old driver was using. All of my testing was carried out using fresh pre-compiled shader caches and all testing was carried out at basically the best case scenario for each shader compilation. Additionally, any game profile edits that we can do to limit the amount of RAM usage when using Nvidia graphics cards have been removed from our game profiles so the only statistics you are seeing on screen are the raw statistics when using CMU emulator. The main statistic we want to look at is the committed memory. As you can see here, it is 16.5 gigabytes. This amount of memory usage will basically make the game unplayable and a complete stutter fest for anybody who wants to play Breath of the Wild using 8GB of RAM in their systems. Let's now switch over to the new driver 387.87 and see what RAM usage performance and commit side is like over there. Once again, all performance testing on this test were carried out using freshly compiled shaders and no game profile edits were applied at all. As we can see, our results speak for themselves and the new driver 387.87 is the clear winner, bringing us in at almost 7GB less in usage of RAM. This most definitely means that CMU users on the Nvidia GPU platform will be indeed able to play games like Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart 8 and Xenoblade Chronicles X which demand large shader caches to be used for a stutter free experience. Hopefully Nvidia will release the WHQL certified graphics driver as soon as possible so every CMU user can reap the benefits of this new performance gain. It must also be mentioned that Nvidia has promised to deliver further optimization in the coming months so hopefully we will not have to wait longer for further performance improvements. As always guys, cheers for checking out the video, I hope you found this video useful or at least in some way insightful. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.